Oh, you can definitely tell that the girls are cleaning house. All the boys are being kicked out. Oh, all the sweet boys. We are sure going to miss all of them. Hey guys, Kaylee and Ella here, and oh, <laughs> I think we need to put that in the blueprint. We need to put that in the blueprint. Take, take three, take two. Take two. <laughs> hey guys, Kaylee and Ella here, and welcome back to the Honey's Dead. It is too gorgeous of a day to not take you guys around with us and show you just a little bit of what we have going on on the farm today. Let's go. Look at all the honeybees. This flower right here is called the frost aster. It is really good for the honeybees this time of year. Look at them all go. They just love it. Pollinate with my finger. You're gonna pollinate with your finger? Well, I say we let them enjoy this aster. Let's go see what else is blooming. Come on. For you. <laughs> that is a zinnia. It is beautiful, isn't it? Uh-huh. Oh, look right here. Look. Look Aww. at that little girl. She's got some pollen on her legs. See how they roll around in the pollen? Yeah. They're collecting it. And then you can see them, they're rubbing their legs together and that's how they get the pollen to stick to their back legs. What color is your favorite? The red. The red? Or the pink. I like it too. Or it's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Look how many flowers we have growing. It is pretty. Yeah, really pretty. <laughs> oh, I gotta pick these. Those are lemon squash. You wanna help me pick them? Maybe we can have them for dinner tonight. Okay. We planted some sweet peas. We're gonna start blooming here. You are so weird. It's a pretty flower. It is a pretty flower. I'm gonna keep it. Our lettuce is growing. I gotta go in here and do some weeding though. I absolutely love the fact that we are growing lettuce again. I missed it. It got too hot in the summertime. So it's definitely exciting to be able to grow it again. We planted some carrots in this one. We'll see one little one that's starting. This one right here has some Swiss chard and then a random zinnia flower that has decided to grow right here. I've got a few carrots that I need to pull up. I don't think our little Kajari melon made it. Aww. No, I think that's about all it did. <laughs> You're gonna pick it, that's fine. Can we eat it? Um, I don't know. That's hard to pick. So the boys get kicked out this time of year, unfortunately, because the boys aren't necessarily needed. The queen is slowing down on laying eggs because they're preparing for winter so uh, it's kind of sad yeah i love watching all the color of pollen don't you okay. it's all bright orange and yellow it's pretty cool isn't it yeah here ella let's go ahead and get these planted okay hold on Oh, they're, already, they're already climbing on each other. Oh boy. It will. It will. Okay, here. Here. Take this one. Okay. Take this with it. Okay. I've got another one here. And we have 
this one right right here and I think this is going to be a perfect little place to plant these now these are called this is a passion fruit we'll plant them right here and then they'll they'll grow up and over the marigolds look like tigers yeah <laughs> they do look like tigers so you want to dig holes right here sure all right sorry he's sticking to me <gasps> hey you're grabbing around my finger here stand up let's get it to climb Oof. so so I'm not sure if many of you might know, but I just recently started going back to school to become an herbalist. So part of my herbalist in training is bringing plants here that are not only beautiful, but also have medicinal aspects. So we've brought back from our instructor a few of her plants that, that she was very happy to share with us. Now this is, this is a small, beautiful little passion fruit and they grow this stunning purple flower which the honeybees love now medicinally the plant has a lot to offer between tinctures and actually the flowers as well so we're very excited to grow it here in our garden not only for us but also for the bees let's go see what's going on in the tomato jungle it's quite a bit of stuff happening cautious Watch out for falling tomatoes. <laughs> Get open it. Push it. You're stronger than that. <laughs> Weakness is only in your mind. Oh my goodness. I've got some pruning that I need to do. Are there any tomatoes ready? We just picked a whole bunch the other day. I see a big red one up there. Where? Right here behind you, there's a bunch of them. Oh boy, oh I see what. Yep, oh, I've wow. got some pruning that I need to work on in here. Can you get that? Nope. Well, we're going to, there's a few big ones. If you're wondering where this went, they sadly all died. <laughs> no, we cleared out some that were ready to go making room for some of our fall plants that we have. Look how pretty. We have some work to do in here, Miss Ella. The good thing is, is there's a lot of tomatoes that are ready, and there's a lot of tomatoes that are still very green. So, we have had a couple of nights here on the farm where we've had some frost warnings but I am very happy to say that so far it's been pretty good. We have not actually lost tomatoes yet outside. So pretty pumped about that. We got to come back in here with the basket because I have forgot my basket. Um, excuse me, ma'am. Get out of that. When we were planning our chicken coop spot, our run, we thought it would be a perfect idea to put our chicken coop and put our run right near this massive autumn olive bush. This time of year, the little berries are starting to turn red. They're edible for human consumption as well. They're definitely an invasive plant that is not native to our area. But on the other hand, it's food for my chickens. And if we wanted to, we can actually harvest the berries as well and eat them and turn them into jelly. So, but the chickens love them and it's free food. Ha <laughs> ha 
these 10 little piglets are growing like weeds and all doing really well. Mama is definitely taking good care of them, so. Ew. She's peeing. <laughs> Look at She's like, did you bring me a treat? Did you bring me an apple? She wants an apple. So I can't tell if they're going to be pumpkins. I know right... There's a yellow flower. I know right that is a tomato plant, but then all of these, these are some type of squash. Or it could be a cucumber. Or a pumpkin. Or a pumpkin. <laughs> so does anyone want to take a bet what could be growing in the pig pen? Definitely saw a tomato already start. Um, it could be a cucumber, it could be a pumpkin, squash. could be a squash. What do you think it is? Pumpkin or a squash. Pumpkin I think squash. it could be a cucumber. Pumpkin or squash. So, we will keep you guys posted on what ends up growing in the pig pen. Which, my son was laughing because he was like, Mom, you realize that you take all this time and you garden and you plant stuff and you take care of it. And then we come over to our pig pen and see just everything growing. I'm and like, that's ironic. Those turn out to be pretty big then. I guess we'll see. I'm not doing any work if that's not big enough. Yeah. <laughs> the pigs make the best gardeners. There's the one that looks like Harry Potter. You can see it under the mama. She's caught the biggest like clump of mud in her hair. <laughs> look at her, look on, her, at her look. on her tail, poor thing. She needs to be rinsed off. Woohoo, you can do Oh, mama. I know, she needs to be cleaned off. Oh, her tail, it's, that must be heavy. Oh. <laughs> the video. Not bad. That's fine. Right. Wait, no. Watch out. I want to do something. Oh. 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 Shop class 101. What the honey said. <laughs> well, <laughs> thank you guys for coming along with us on this beautiful day and experiencing just a little bit of our farm with us outside of the honeybees. We have got a pretty large mobile chicken coop that we need to finish um, what we started. I've got about 60, roughly 60 chickens that are getting ready to go in there. So I've got, we, 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 we have some work to do. We, we. Thank you guys for watching and as always, don't forget to get your hands dirty. That's not what I say. Don't forget to get your hands. That's not what I say. Don't forget to get your Don't. hands dirty <laughs> and learn something old. Don't be afraid. Ah. <laughs> Don't be afraid. To get your hands dirty. And learn something old. See you next time, my friend. Bye, guys.